This is our workshop, and this is where it all started. Oh, wow. In here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yep. This, this is, looks very professional. Yeah. This Max's chassis, this. This one? Yep. And... Um, How much time have you spent here, Max? Uh, since I was four or five. Yeah. Yep. I think I when spent I more time here than uh, at home. We have our uh, machines here. Oh. We have our engines. That's incredible. We were building them. Uh, Try to make them faster. And this is, oh, oh it's not cleaned up now, but uh, what we did here, and that's the good part. Oh is my goodness. You can put the whole go kart on it. We can try on the dyno. It's like we're part of a full team. You've got everything yeah, but, here. But you have to. If you want to compete in the top and when you compete against the factory teams, that's what you need to have. I was always helping my dad out. I mean, he was sitting in the go kart doing all the running. And then when we had to change the cylinder or, yeah, whatever, I was always here to help. And uh, yeah, you learn a lot from it. Yeah. So this is the top level? This is the highest level you can get. Uh, we started there when Max was 12. 12. We went to international racing. We won the Euro Series, the World Series. And then with the shifter go-kart, he won European Championship, World Championships as well. Behind you is a picture of Max's actually very first race. Yep, that's it. I think it was my first ever yeah, this start. Is How old would you have been there? Seven. Seven. It's I was very little. Is that you? <laughs> The crazy thing, and I still remember it, at that moment, for the first race, he was seven, he was a small boy, and then there was a race going on, he had to start, yeah, and then he drove away. And you can't do anything anymore. It's he was up, so nervous, I could see it. It's up to him now, you know, and that was, for me, it was such a strange feeling. <laughs> this is uh, Max's very first That's baby car. That's the card. one we saw in the photos. Yes, exactly. You see how small it is. and. A lot of colours. How big he was. <laughs> a lot of colours. How old would you have been then when you went on this one? Uh, four. There at the end, the number, where's the number one on? Yeah, yeah. Max won the World Championship with that one. But we are crazy with it, you know. We, are, we love everything what has an engine we, we have, actually. Is there anything you don't have that you would like to have? A winning Formula 1 car. <laughs> this is what we are planning now. <laughs> I still have them all. Uh, all the, the go-karts he drove in and where he won championships with, I kept. I put a lot of effort in this whole racing career of Max. I had to invest a lot of money. Sponsors were difficult to find. For me, the most difficult time was Formula 3. Last year, it was tough for me. I was nervous. That's where he need, needed to impress. That's why he needed to win the races. I was more nervous there last year than I'm actually and I'm now because he's in Formula One now, but of course he has to perform. But it's you know it's easier for me. Oh. When you come back from a racing weekend, the first thing I do when I come home is uh, drive in this my <laughs> little simulator again. Is that for fun? Yeah, yeah. I do it for fun and for a bit of training. So. But we only have one problem. I don't, I don't have my Toro Rosso Red Bull car, so... Uh, sorry, Toro Rosso. Yeah, very sorry for that. <laughs> and this is what I do for like three, four hours in do the you? evening. Yeah, I, I never stop. What, just continuously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, well, I stop in between to do some setup work or change some bits on the car. It's like an endurance race. Yeah, yeah now, look, now the tyres are finished. And also now I think soon the engine is going to overheat. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. It's Look at fire. that. It's, it's on fire. <laughs> His whole life is about racing. He, he doesn't do anything else. And you never get bored of it? No, never. Everybody wants to see how a young boy of 17 copes with the pressure, copes with the speed of a Formula One car. I also knew it was very young and he didn't have a lot of experience. He still hasn't now. Weight's coming on now. Three, two, one, go. But I know Max was a fast learner. But I think the guys and the people who criticize him because of his age, those people didn't know Max. I need some practice. <laughs> I really love this go-kart. It's, 
I really like. I mean, but you need to do this before you go to motorsport or cars, because this is where you learn the, the tricks and the racing and the feeling. Here it all starts. The same things what you change here, you can change on the car, and um, normally they work out the same way. So definitely you start on a lower level here and then it gets more and more advanced. So a few changes. What are you adjusting now? Yeah, adjust. A bit the uh, front grip. Front it's grip. A bit too much at the moment. And yours, how long does that take to do? Two minutes. Much faster than uh, from one car. <laughs> the way he was on the go kart track, I see this, exactly the same Max he's on the Formula One pattern. You know the way he behaved, the way he talks with people. I don't see any different. We were always karting, yeah, always together. Uh, and now he is on television and driving F1. So, yeah, when I see that, it's like, whoa. We all knew Max's target is going to Formula One. And uh, for us, it was different. We had a lot of fun with karting, but we have also another life for working and school. But it's even very nice to see that, that Max made it. So it's the same like karting. When I watch the Max, I think, yeah, come, go, go, and win this race. And when I watch Formula One, it's the same. They're like, yeah, break late, and you know, it's the same. I just wanted to be myself because you can't really compare to any driver. Even if you try, you will never be the same. So I just preferred, for example, Alonso. I thought he's a very good driver, but at the end, you're always yeah, yourself, so you can't be like him. Even when Max was young, he was only focusing, he wants to become a Formula One driver. It's his life, Formula One. Did you have a racing hero? I think that's my dad. especially because we did so many things together. It's uh, quite obvious for me that, yeah, he's my hero.